Okay, don't judge me. We all thought he said 5-2 in that song. Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. And today I want to talk about the pros and cons of being short. Lego. Number one. Everybody who asks me how tall I am always thinks that I'm lying. They'd be like, hey Kayla, how tall are you? 5-1. No, you're not. You're like four feet. You see what I'm talking about here? Why would I lie? I am short enough as it is. I don't get it. Number two, being ID'd for everything. Now, I'm not going to tell you how old I am, but I'm old enough. And for me to be ID'd everywhere I go, is just a little bit annoying. And it's because I have A, a baby face, and I'm short. Number three. Now, I don't know about you, but I'm pretty short and I'm pretty tiny. And more than half the time, people who are taller than me try to pick me up. Since when is that okay? I mean, I'm not a baby. Number four, people still call me cute. Why? I don't want to be cute anymore. Now let's get to the pros. Number one, if you're short, you most likely have small feet, which means if you're a sneakerhead like me, you can definitely get your shoes in the children's section. Number two, when you're in the car or in the back of the car, you never have to worry about legroom. I'm always comfortable. Number three, you never feel bad about wearing heels. And number four, cheap shoes, guys. You can't get better than that. Comment below and let me know what you think. What kind of ordeals do you face as a short person? I'm sure some of what I've said you've experienced at least once or twice in your life. Please comment, subscribe, and follow me on all my other social media, at TheRealKT on Twitter and at TheRealKT on Instagram. Until next time, catch you later.